Hi, it's Adrian, and so I'm here uh, with a new look. It's a glam light look, and um, I've been playing with the eyeshadows this morning, and so I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I've done. Um, not sure exactly if I'm going to keep this look on all day, so I didn't really prep for it. I did use the Maybelline Superstay C Plus Skin Tint. I have mine in 102. And then I did go ahead and use my tried and true favorites. So I have on the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde and the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Wear. As far as my mascara, I um, did go ahead and use an Essence Crayon here and then topped it with both the e.l.f. lip oil and the Buxom uh, plumper, plumper Gloss. Uh, anyway, yep, there's a look. There's a lip look for you. And then as far as what I did on the cheeks, I really went all glam light. And this is going to be the Scooby-Doo blush palette. And it is um, holographic, I guess. Yeah, it changes. So in different lights, you'll see uh, different... Uh, there are two different... Yeah, two different pictures on here. So this is what I went ahead and used, and I used the orange um, as my blush. I didn't use any of the pink. I just used the orange. So that's what I have on there. And then I did go ahead and pick up the Scooby-Doo again. And um, again, holographic. So you got the creepy crawlies, and then Scooby and Shaggy, and then it goes back to the creepy crawlies, and they're pretty cool. And um, this highlighter palette is really cool, but you would, when you first look at it, you're going to think, so this one shifts gold and this one shifts pink, but they both do both. So this one shifts gold and pink, and this one shifts gold and pink. But they have different amounts of shimmer and different amounts of flip, and so today I am just wearing this one. And it does actually have some um, glitter particles in it. So if you are okay with having some glitter on your cheeks, then this one will work really well for you. If you're not, then you're going to have to be really careful or use a glitter glue on your cheeks, like the NYX Glitter Glue, because you will get some glitter fallout, is what I'm trying to say. And then... Um, as far as what I did on the eyes, I did for Valentine's Day, I got the Chucky Crazy in Love, and again, it's holographic, so it does do all the fun stuff here. And um, I'm going to approximate what I did on my eyes. This is only the second time I've used the palette. It is really dark, and so I'm still working on how to use it. I know that when I figure out this palette, I'm probably going to be bringing in other palettes to work with it as far as shimmers and things, but I haven't gotten to the point where, like I said, it's only my second look. I haven't figured out how the palette works yet. So um, to give you an approximate, I use this one on my lid. Then I use these two. Um, right in this inner part right here um but above the lid so inner but right above the lid um i did go ahead and use a whole bunch of the purple on the outer part of the brow and i'm trying to think what else i did um i did go ahead and use this for my eyeliner and then i used this um glitter it's a shimmer glitter and i put it all over everything so uh, the look actually in person is looking pretty dark. It's leaning gray with a little bit of red. And but what I'm seeing in under the lights in the viewfinder is definitely a much lighter look than what's actually going on in person. So um, the pigments are there, the blendability is there, the shimmers are there. Um, it just it's really dark. So I'm going to have to figure out how to use it. I've been wanting to play with maroons, and now I have maroons and purple to play with. So in that way, I'm really happy about it. Um, some of these, like this black, 
this black down here and it's a black shimmer and it's absolutely gorgeous if you want to go okay this is a grown-up goth palette really if you want to if you want to take it there it will take you into goth it will allow you to do goth with purple maroon black and gray and so definitely if you want to head back to the goth time in our lives which is so far over and do an adult goth look this is the palette to do it with um, and it's going to challenge you. It's one of those palettes that's going to make you use your imagination, use your techniques, and come up with something that will work. So um, I'm really enjoying playing with it. And yes, I probably will be putting other palettes with it. But for right now, ooh, those are just scary eyes, aren't they? Um, yeah, for right now, I'm just sort of trying to figure out how to work with it and that's one of the fun things about a new palette is you know seeing all the different looks that you can get and how you can work with it anyway this is the way the eye looked came out so again that's the eye look and I, it's fun it's um, definitely something that I need to work with till I feel comfortable with it. As you can tell, I'm kind of doing the teeter-totter. Well, kind of does this, kind of does that, kind of does this. So I'm not there yet, but I will be. And again, if you want to do grown-up goth for Valentine's Day, I would highly recommend it. Um, so uh, that's video, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye.